This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. So if we select our disks under storage here in Failover Cluster Manager, we've got our disk 1. We can see it's the witness disk. And if it doesn't show up as the W drive and we want to change that to the W drive, we can just right click on it and click on change drive letter. Then we've got our other drive here that's available storage. This is what we want to store our virtual machines on. So I'm going to right click on it and go to more ac actions. Click turn on maintenance mode. Now currently we can see the owner of this is Hyper-V02. I'm actually on Hyper-V01. I could easily just connect to disk management uh, on Hyper-V02 and I'll go ahead and do that actually. Let's go to computer management and let's connect to Hyper-V02. Let's expand out our storage, expand out disk management and I'll scroll down there's our disk so I'm gonna right click on it create a new simple volume let's click on next and I'll use the whole thing let's go ahead and click next this drive letter is just gonna be kind of a temporary drive letter we're gonna turn it into a cluster shared volume in a second so I'll click on next as far as file system goes we could format it NTFS or REFS uh, it's still a bit of a debate as the making of this movie as to which is best for a clustered shared volume for sure NTFS works well, so I'm going to stick with that. But it's worth researching to see if there's any newer information about there that we should format REFS when we're working with clustered share volumes. I'll go ahead and click Next and Finish. All right, now let's go back over to our Failover Cluster Manager. And I'm going to right-click on our disk. Let's go to More Actions and turn off Maintenance Mode. And now I'm going to right click on it and click on Add to Clustered Shared Volumes. Okay, and that's it. It's been added to Clustered Shared Volumes. Our Clustered Shared Volumes show up on our C drive in Clustered Storage. There it is, Volume 1.